We previously talked about um, the BVM 1.0 and um, it's something that's very nice for you to use. I know a lot of you must have tested it and see how it works. So we are still on identity pass. I greet everyone. Good day. And um, let's dive straight into it. So um, look at the verification here. Um, the API here is going to be it's going to be a post request with your BVN, your API key, your app ID. Yes, when you create an account, you are going to get an app ID. So, and your number here in the body is going to be your bank verification number. So, which is your BVN. So, you're going to pass it as number, as a parameter called number. So, um, please like, share, subscribe to our videos and um, share to your friends that I want to learn how to verify, verify BVNs. So this is the version 2.0. So let's see how it works. Let's see how it works. So add this. So let's see. So this is it. So 2.0. Place it here. Submit. Yeah. So these are the results. It's a lot, a whole lot. So with this photo here, the person's image is coming out as it is 64. So when I go to the code, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you how everything works. So yeah, so this is everything. So let's dive straight into the code. Yeah. So this is the code here. Yeah, so this is the code here. Very, very easy. You pass in your BVN from your form. Then you pass it into, uh, I put it into an array here. Then I pass it into my function here. Then I decode it because the response coming is going to be a JSON. So I decode it to take it back to an array. Then I check for success and failure. And then, um, okay, so this is just it. So this is the success result. And um, this is the error result. And so this is my test credentials. And this is my BVN. So this is my form where I can get my BVN and this is my submission button. So like I previously said, you can actually use this to, um, I said it in my previous video, um, BVN 1.0. You can use it to verify your customer, but the difference between 1.0 and 2.0, 1.0 gives you little information about your customer, not as much as 2.0 previously. So this 2.0 gives you a whole lot of information. So my file structure still stays as it has always been. It has always been the back end, the front end, and um, the .env file, composer.log, config.php. So all these are very, very important to be able to run this application. So, and um, I wish you good luck with building your app. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and um, hit the bell icon for more notifications. Thank you very much. Thank you.